I will start from CPU code. In CPU code folder, you will see a file called CPU stream CPU code.c. Click on it. I will replace the content of these files with previously prepared code in order to spare your time. Here, you can see a string x initialized with the value of hello world. String x is representing the input string for the data flow kernel. String z is representing the output string that will be passed over by the kernel. This is the most important line of this file. This line calls the data flow kernel. CPU stream is the name of the kernel that I will make later. First parameter, size, represents the size of an array that we are transferring. Second parameter, x, represents the input array. Third parameter, z, represents the output array. And at last I print the string received from the kernel.